So I am a fourth year PhD student and I am studying the effect of climate change conditions on corals. And corals, they might look like rocks, but they're actually animals. And the animals actually form a symbiotic relationship with a single-celled algae. And this algae photosynthesizes just like all plants and gets energy from the sun. And then it transfers part of that energy to the coral. The relationship between the corals and the algae can break down very quickly under, in response to stress. So particularly to temperature stress. So if the temperatures increase, just one or two degrees above their normal maximum temperature, it can trigger a breakdown in the relationship between the corals and the algae. And it'll, the algae will depart the coral and it'll result in what's called coral bleaching. And the corals are left pale or white and it looks like somebody poured a bucket of bleach on the reef. So we're really interested in looking at algae types that we call clade D, it's not a very creative name, but that's what the, the thermotolerant algae are referred to as. Um, and those that can survive in high heat. And they are actually also survive in conditions that aren't great for corals. So we find them a lot of times in, in dock areas and in harbors when corals are growing there. Um, they seem to be very resistant to stress. So we're focused on the looking at the distribution of the heat tolerant algae and how that might relate to the future of corals in climate change. The corals that we're using in this experiment are three different species that we took from local Florida waters from reefs actually right off campus. So we're gonna keep these corals for about a week, one week to two weeks in conditions that are warmer than their normal water. So we're gonna replicate the conditions that they might see in the ocean during a bleaching event. And then we're gonna put them at two different temperatures to recover. So we're gonna have a high temperature and a low temperature recovery after bleaching. And we're gonna try to look at how the dynamics of the different types of algae that live inside these corals are changing in response to the recovery conditions if they go back to a normal temperature after bleaching vent or if they remain high. And then hopefully if, we, if they do fully recover, we're gonna expose them to a secondary event where they're gonna see high temperature stress. And we're gonna see if, if the prior bleaching and, and perhaps acquiring more of these thermotolerant clade D algae can actually help them to survive in future high temperature stress events. So a potential adaptation mechanism for climate change.